A recent report by the Massachusetts Medical Society says that it's twice as hard to find doctors to work in Western Mass compared to Boston. And getting doctors to come to Berkshire County is three times as hard. Well, joining me to explain this is Dr. Scott Wolf, Chief Medical Officer and Chief Operating Officer at Mercy Medical Center. Thanks so much for joining me, doctor, to talk about this. Now, why the wait time? Why is it so hard, rather, to get doctors to come out to this area? Well, it is a challenge, and thank you for having me today. Um, you know, I think the challenge is multifactorial. Uh, first of all, you know, one of the, the blessings in the state of Massachusetts is that 98% or more of our residents in the Commonwealth have insurance. Um, but the challenge to that is because so much, so much of that is federally funded, or state funded rather, uh, the reimbursement regimens um, are quite low, which makes it a challenge uh, for physicians to maintain an active uh, and, and uh, viable practice. And I'm sure it doesn't help that school debt is pretty high by the time they get out. They have to work longer hours. That kind of just adds up to it all? Absolutely. The average debt of a, a medical student graduating from uh, training right now is about $175,000. So they have uh, somewhat of a fiduciary responsibility to themselves uh, to go into fields that they feel are going to be a bit more uh, lucrative for them uh, in order to uh, be able to pay back those loans and, um, and have a viable practice. What are some ways or what have you seen when you've tried to offer an opportunity to have a doctor come out to this area? Is that some of the biggest things they say or what have been? Absolutely, and, and you do have to be creative. Um, you know, first of all, uh, it is challenging, specifically in Western Mass. Unfortunately, we are not a destination of choice, um, although there are some, air, you know, some highlights that we need to emphasize. Our location, our proximity to some cities, New York and Boston, um, our proxi proximity to the environment, uh, beautiful areas in Berkshire County, um, close to Vermont, New Hampshire. Um, I think we need to emphasize that to prospective uh, uh, physicians. But also, we have to be creative. We have to to um, provide them maybe with loan repayment incentives, relocation packages, um, and also uh, emphasize you know, the community that we have here in Western Mass. I know when I talked to the Massachusetts Medical Society that put out this study, the gentleman I had talked to said he went, out, he went to school in Berkshire County and he mentioned, like you said, it, it is more rural. It's beautiful, but it is more rural and that can be the struggle to get doctors out here. It's just kind of knowing where, which area to focus on. Now talk about, I guess, the eastern part of the state is where you find the larger medical colleges or institutions and that kind of plays into it as well. Certainly, and for, for depending on the type of career a physician is looking for, if they're looking for a more academic oriented position uh, a more inner city type of environment then certainly the Boston areas or even other areas of the country New York City Washington Chicago um, where th there it's more attractive uh, but for a physician who's going out into practice that's looking for um, a less high volume practice a less high stress practice then certainly areas in the Berkshire counties and Western Mass would be an attractive destination now, this also impacts wait times, not just to get in to see a doctor because now there's not as many doctors, so supply and demand there, but also emergency rooms. How are emergency rooms being impacted by this? Dramatically. Uh, at Mercy Medical Center, a hospital of our size should average about 50,000 visits a year. We average between 75 and 80,000 visits a year. And Bay State Medical Center, which is right up the road, they average close to about 110,000 visits a year. So between the two hospitals within four block radius, we're seeing almost on average about 200,000 visits. Um, and that's a direct impact of the fact that many more patients have access to insurance and they wanna leverage the benefits that they have. But because of the capacity, which, which is immediately impacted, they have no alternative but to go to the emergency department. The study had also mentioned that people, when they took the poll, they were pretty happy with the care they received. They weren't too concerned about the shortage. And I guess that's why, because they're using the emergency room as kind of their way to alleviate that waiting time of getting to see their primary care doctor. Why uh, could that be a bad thing? Well, absolutely. And, and emergency departments typically are the stopgap for patients who can't have access to a primary care provider. The challenge to that is several fold. One is um, the emergency department is certainly not the most efficient or effective place for somebody to receive services that are more appropriately managed in a primary care office. The other impact though is it does displace those patients who truly have emergency level care, high acuity care uh, from being seen in a more efficient way. You mentioned earlier that 
96% did you say of Massachusetts residents are now covered under the about 98% of our of 98%, our, of our even, residents which is higher. a wonderful we lead the nation in that statistic which is something I think is in the Commonwealth we're exceptionally proud of we just because more people now are getting health care it's kind of that supply and demand like I was talking about we need more doctors now absolutely kind of talking about that Massachusetts medical license to become a doctor in the state it's not as easy as maybe it should be? No, it's not. It's quite an arduous process. And we've actually had dialogue with the state agencies around this. Typically right now, unfortunately, uh, it takes somebody de novo about four months to obtain a medical license. And unfortunately, it doesn't stop there because once they obtain their medical license, they then have to go through the credentialing process at their respective hospital organization in order to be ready to go into full practice. So from start to finish, it could take a practitioner up to six months before they can actually start practicing in the state. Now compare that to another state. It wouldn't take that long, let's say if in a neighboring state or somewhere else? Not at all. Some, some states you can get licensed in 30 days. Okay. And I know when I was getting some background information on this Massachusetts Medical Society report that sometimes legislators add in extra stuff. They want the doctors to know how to handle prescription drug abuse or they want the doctors to be able to handle some other stuff they had mentioned as well too. And I guess that could drag down the wait time if the doctor needs to become an expert in, the, in that area? Absolutely. And, and a lot of those things, some of those checks and balances that the state of Massachusetts has are absolutely appropriate and, and, and indicated. However, we just need to figure out a more efficient way to take them through the process. And then talk about how there seems to be more specialists than primary care doctors, not just in Mass, but maybe overall. Is that uh, balance kind of getting a little out of whack there? That's a national trend. And, and studies have clearly shown that in communities where primary care is the foundation, that patient care is provided in a much more cost-effective and more quality-driven way, um, as opposed to being heavily dependent on subspecialties. Um, and, but the fact of the matter is the shortage across the country is reflective of the fact that more and more uh, graduating residents are going into subspecialty practice as opposed to going into primary care. Gotcha. All right. Well, thanks for coming on board and kind of breaking this all down for us and explaining this all to us, doctor. My pleasure. Thanks for having me.